This previous season was all about going out and learning these new tricks. I had my own kind of private setup. I had a, had a half pipe out in the wilderness. It put me in like a more relaxed state where I could actually learn these tricks without fear of falling. Because it's, it's really strange to go to a mountain and not feel like you can fall. Because <laughs> you know that there's a giant chairlift full of people just kind of like watching. <laughs> you know what I mean? Judging. I knew I had to pull some wild stuff out in order to do well this next year. <laughs> I mean, you can't do your standard 1080 and I don't think that 1260s were really the way to go. Double corks have been around for a little while. It's just that the guys that do them basically ride backcountry because it's the only safe way to do them is to throw it into you know, a giant pile of powder. It's definitely something that I've always wanted to do. I just didn't know how to go about it. We took a little inspiration from the uh, motocross group and you know, they're doing double backflips on motorcycles into foam. I was just lucky that Red Bull was there to you know, support me and, and build that half pipe and actually bring the icing on the cake, which was a foam pit. The art of it is to make it look effortless. I want everyone at home to be like, oh, I can probably figure that out, you know what I mean? It's, it, and then you go and you, you try it <laughs> and then you know how hard it was and you have more uh, respect for what I do, I guess. I can't wait. I'm not nervous or, or, or fearful in that sense. I'm just anxious. I don't want to go uh, compete. I want to just, you know, in, unleash what I've been practicing and, and really, you know, perform at, I think, a higher level than I've ever performed for, before.